Hello guys, the vlog has begun. I'm still at home at my parents house. We're about to go to the airport and before that I want to show you my cute outfit. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I was waiting so long to wear this outfit. <laughs> oh my god, I love this outfit so much. It's like this tennis kind of chill vibe, you know? Let's go guys. <laughs> We made it. We passed security and check-in. It was a little struggle, but fortunately I had priority and now we're going to the gate. We're one hour too early, so our gate hasn't opened yet, but it will soon, I think. <laughs> we sat down now and I'm currently alone. I already told you guys, so I'm taking the pillow with me. I'm kind of nervous because in security they didn't say anything, in check-in they didn't say anything as well but usually when you board they look at your luggage like if you have too much luggage you usually have to like pay for it. So I'm kind of nervous but yeah that's what's going on. And oh my god my nail just broke. I'm so sad. The nail polish just came off. I just can't wear a nail polish. And this is like not usual nail polish, it's Shellac. We arrived at the Airbnb. I will link it down below because it's beautiful. But the way here, I was just, um, I was about to cry, seriously. Like, what the freak. I'm not trying to exaggerate, but it's like crazy. I was like really scared. Anyways. We made it. So let me show you guys how the Airbnb looks like. This is the entrance and this is the garden. We have a barbecue, we have a bed outside, some chairs to the crazy part. We have this beautiful infinity pool with some lounge chairs. And they also have this little cute chair which I like a lot. This chair is so comfy. Hello guys! Huh? Welcome to my <laughs> I've been asleep for the longest time now. I haven't slept like more than 24 hours, so it was long overdue. The sun is setting right now. It's super cute outside. The weather is nice. The only thing is you can't really see the sunset from the Airbnb, but let me show you. It's beautiful. We're back at the Airbnb now. Basically what we did, we went to the beach. It was beautiful there. The water was like clear. It was so clear. But if you want to go to that beach, I would recommend you to go at like 8 a.m. or something. I think at around 11 a.m. it was packed. And the water wasn't that clear anymore, but the ocean was... I love it. I, I really enjoyed it. And then we went to a restaurant. It had really good food. I had some moussaka and it was delish. That's about it. We're back at the Airbnb now. I am about to jump into the water. We also took some great pictures at that restaurant. Um, it was a traditional Greek restaurant. It had all the right meals. If you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry that I'm looking at the viewfinder. I'm just looking at myself, you know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the microphone, but it's in the lens, kind of. Yeah. I went in the pool. It was amazing. I'm thinking about going in the pool when it's like dark, dark outside and the lights are on because that's a vibe. Now we're cooking. Not me, but you know, we're turning on the grill right now. Let me show you guys.
we went to a sky bar and it was <gasps> beautiful. Let me just show you my outfit. Wait a second. This outfit is so cute. <laughs> Definitely would recommend the restaurant we just went to. It is beautiful. The views stunning and the food also really good. It was pretty delish. Someone just stopped right there with their car and screamed at me. The fuck? We are going to the beach. I will insert some videos when we're there because I'm not taking my camera with me. See you at the beach. We're again at the Macristiala beach. This is our favorite beach because it's like the water is so clear and not many people know. Uh, 1 p.m. is getting crowded, but not as crowded as like other beaches like Sigia. We did Savannah from Africa. We are going to a bar slash restaurant. The roads are a struggle, but we'll make it. We just arrived at the Sunset Bar. It's basically called Sunset Bar because you can see the sunset here. But our problem is that we live somewhere where there are no lights and it's really high up the hill. That's why we came here now. Moan, show your outfit. She looks cute. super cute here but it's extremely hot this pillow area is like per person 60 euros and we have the first row which is 40 euros per person and then you have this with a little shade which is 20 euros per person now we asked if we can sit here because obviously there is a shade we just ordered i got the beef burger and a margarita and i would recommend a bora bora brew it's really good my mom got it and it's delicious now we are waiting for our food i'm super excited The burger was amazing. It was so delicious. It was with truffle and my brother also got the chocolate mousse and it was delicious. The only problem with coming here is the roads. It's a long drive. We, dri we drove like 50 minutes or so. If you're coming with a taxi or an Uber, that's fine. But if you're driving alone on a quad or a scooter, yeah, and also, if you want to rent a car, make sure to get an automatically car, I think it's called. Not a manual car, because we have a manual and we were struggling. Oh, I have a car. I'm so happy my parents brought me here. I'm so thankful that I have them and that I can cherish all these beautiful moments with them. I'm about to go swimming. I just wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Basically, I wanted to list the co's and prawns of Sakintos. Did I seriously just say co's and prawns? <laughs> I meant to say pros and cons. Let me start off with the roads. As I already mentioned a couple of times, the roads are really bad. Some of them are good, but they're like really high up. And manually, it's like, it's a catastrophe. That's the first con. Pros are definitely the weather. It can be a con too, if you're really sensitive with like hot weather because it, it gets really hot here. But it could be a pro, you know? Also, views. Oh my god, the views are amazing the people are super nice food is extremely good we also went to santorini once and the food didn't i didn't enjoy the food as much as here i really like the food here also the prices are really good i'm i'm from austria you know so in austria everything is like really expensive our host once told us there was like a really expensive uh, restaurant and we went there and it was like one meal was like 15 to 20 euros which is like perfectly fine for austria the big con is just the roads and also the parking situation if you go to a restaurant you can park there but when you go to a beach you don't have a lot of options a lot of people just park on the road that's a little bit problematic that's everything i wanted to mention We are at the shipwreck. I just went in the water and it's full of tourists. We came like early enough so that no tourists were here, but now 
what is happening here you should come early in the morning if you want to come to shipwreck we went at 8 a.m even better when you go at 7 a.m it's so pretty out here damn tomorrow is our last day today was the best day it's been a long week we went out almost every day it's just been exhausting i mean it was fun but i'm just exhausted and i want to chill for a little so that's what i'm gonna do Bye. 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 we're about to leave Bye.